Hi, I'm Stephen Hand from Archery Supplies, and today we're going to look at the Barnett Wildcat Crossbow. Now, this is an old crossbow. It was probably introduced by Barnett in 1980s. Um, and it came in two versions. This is the wood version. Um, it also came in a metal version with a metal skeleton stock called the Panzer. Um, it's a very basic crossbow, uh, fiberglass stock here. Um, it locks into place with an Allen key through there, which actually puts a metal plate up against the limbs. And you can see this is 150 pounds. Um, now, my recollection of these bows was they shot very poorly. Um, but they were a favourite of people due to the price point. They used to sell for about $250 and at about 20 metres, whatever you're shooting at was pretty safe. But in this current environment, that being the virus, um, and I just want to talk a little bit about the virus. So a few months ago, I hadn't heard anything about this virus. I don't watch the news and TV. And my friend in China said, um, we've got a virus and it's pretty bad. And I said, virus? And she said, yeah. And I said, is it a zombie virus? And she goes, no, this is really bad. And I said, the zombie virus is really bad too. And um, anyway, couple of months on who would have known that uh, this virus called corona was going to cause obviously so many deaths cripple like cripple the economies of the world put millions of people out of work it's like pretty crazy anyway in the time of the virus where people are basically consuming massive amounts of that and why they're consuming this, I've got no idea, but massive amounts of this has been consumed. Um, you probably think, well, people have found a need for these things called crossbows. And if you watch The Walking Dead, you can see the local redneck who's extremely popular with everyone uses a crossbow. So I thought, well, this, given the time series, I thought this crossbow and how it shoots and doing a review on an old crossbow, um, would be something quite topical at this point in time. Now in the coronavirus impacts to archery, crossbows are very popular because people are looking uh, for recreation, they're looking at um, going outdoors, they might be deer hunting. Um, so, and I've got lots of people who've got properties, who've got wild deer who have to shoot wild deer and they don't want to learn to shoot a bow so they grab a crossbow. I wouldn't recommend grabbing this to shoot a deer, but we're going to try it out anyway. So, back in the day you could have fitted a scope to this. Um, you can see it's got a basic sight here, basic fixed pin here, but it did come with a scope from memory. Um, and also came with the ability to fit a, fit a, fo um, a foot stirrup there, a metal foot stirrup, which I actually have for this crossbow. Um, but I haven't got the bolts to put it in yet. So, anyway, so that's that. So. Um, safety mechanism on the side here to turn safety on and off um, and there was a cranking mechanism to load it if you don't want to load it by hand so these are the little bolts I shoot they're like a, so you take a normal arrow cut it in half and you shoot it um, now I'm gonna say the more modern crossbows are pretty amazing and we're going to do a review on those later but given the whole zombie apocalypse and everyone consuming toilet tissue and you want to look after your toilet paper um, I thought this is pretty topical so let's have a shot and see how this goes now normally you'd have a foot stirrup you put your foot in and you pull this back so I'm just going to try let's just try and pull this into my stomach oh and that hurts my stomach now you see he's got a rope on here so I'm guessing that's for his foot to put his foot in now I am extremely nervous with crossbows so normally I'd shoot with my poodle in front of the target, um, but I wouldn't shoot with a crossbow in front of the target. So that's it loaded. Um, the safety's on. Um, and I must admit, I'm not a big fan of crossbows. So we load this. And it's really solid to get under there. So that's it loaded. Now you generally don't want to walk around with one of these things loaded, and I definitely don't. So let's, from what I can remember years ago when I was a 
kid and I shot one of these, the trigger on these things is really hard and it's got a fair bit of recoil. I'm going to say if you shoot a crossbow, don't put this scope to your eye because you get a black eye. Um, probably the same applies for guns, so safety's off. Well, I clearly missed the target. Um, but actually, the trigger didn't feel that bad, so let's have another shot. I'm standing probably about 12 meters away from the target. Um, So let's have another shot. So that one was with a changing a um, side on a crossbow exactly the opposite of changing on a bow. So with a bow you move it in the direction of the arrow. With this is exactly the opposite because it's the rear sight as opposed to the front sight. So now normally with this crossbow, if you're shooting a Barnett Wildcat, you'd wax the lube the stock because this crossbow string is is running against this the whole time so it's a fair amount of friction and you wear out the center serving here Now, I'm not a fan of shooting crossbows. I'm going to say that straight out. I much prefer shooting bows. And I'm going to tell you why I prefer shooting bows. When you shoot a bow, you, you apply muscles to the shot. And when you release the shot, the, all the muscles, the follow through, to me it's kind of relaxing. Shooting a crossbow, when you pull the trigger, there's no muscles involved. And then it goes bang. Now it's not as big a bang as shooting a gun, but to me it's not as relaxing as shooting a bow. Okay, last one, and then we can see how the group is at 12 meters. And I can tell you it's not as good as any bow I've ever shot. Oh, now with the arrows, you generally want the arrow sticking over the end. With a crossbow, the bigger the draw, the draw um, cycle, so the bigger distance from there to there, the faster it's going to shoot. Because it's like a bow, the longer the, the, longer the um, draw length, the more speed you've got. Okay, let's go down and see, see that group. Okay, so we're up here at the target. These are my three bolts. Um, like this one hit an eight. That was my first shot, second shot, third shot. Not a great group. I can't get my hands around them. They're off to the side. Um, the penetration at 150 pounds is nothing. Um, so one of my friends today won a bow from Bowtech, um, which is great for Greg. Um, he won a ladies bow, which is very good for a guy um, to win a ladies bow. But anyway, he won his ladies bow and I said, um, how well are you going to shoot with it? And he said, I'll shoot great with it. And um, I was like, yeah, well, I can shoot with a long bow. Um, not very well and I'm gonna say that's about how well I shot with this um, crossbow not very well so when it comes to protecting those from the hordes of zombies that may be infecting your coming to raid your house I'm probably not going to recommend a crossbow uh, <laughs> now maybe the more expensive ones um, and we'll do a review on those um, are suitable for me, like a, a, an old crossbow like this, one which is 30 plus years old, is something 
you shoot for a bit of fun to see the way archery used to be years ago a bit like shooting an old compound bow from years ago where people struggled to hit the center of the target and this crossbow is exact, exactly that but i love it because it's traditional it's simple it brings me back to my to back when i was 12 and i'm 50 so that's 38 years um so that's the barnett um wildcat now there's a story about barnett that they were australian from melbourne then they moved to england and they set up in um, america i think the story is i don't know what the story is that's what i heard um i think it's now all been sold and it's a international company i think they're made in china um but i mean the brand's still out there barnett um but the old ones are still pretty dependable um these things if you dry fire it these things can break off but they're all pretty good um these are cheap because you cut a normal arrow in half to make um it's all not too bad and if you don't look for that pinpoint accuracy that you get with a compound bow or even a recurve bow this is not too bad now what are you going to pay for a barnett wildcat well back in the day it was about 250. um i think i paid 50 bucks for this now i was off a friend um so you know 100 bucks for a for an old crossbow would be reasonable to pay you know just to put up on the wall a bit of nostalgia from a time when you were young um and i think it kind of looks cool it looks scary but to me it takes too long to load um it takes too long to load compared to like a recurve or a longbow um so and with a longbow or recurve i could shoot two or three arrows in the time i could shoot one of these so and uh, with i'm going to say probably greater accuracy too so anyway i'm Stephen Hand from archery supplies stay safe during um these times of social isolation and given it's Easter and I understand it's very hard you can't see friends and family um, or you can't in Australia see friends and family um, but the most important thing is to stay healthy and hopefully this virus doesn't spread too bad and heart goes out to those people in America where it has hit pretty well it's hit very very hard anyway Thanks for watching. I'm Stephen Hand from Archery Supplies. That's the Barnett Wildcat. Um, have a shot with a crossbow if you can. Um, see what you think. Um, I'm not a huge fan, never have been. Um, but it does bring me back to my youth when I used guy, an old guy, an old school teacher used to come up to our place and shoot every night after school. Just shoot one bolt at each target um, for an hour after, after school. Um, so yeah, it does bring you back to old times, which is why I kind of like it. I like the whole nostalgia and tradition, so it's kind of cool. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye. And stay safe. Thanks. Bye.